On November the 13th, 2015, eight gunmen and suicide bombers brought about the deadliest attacks on French soil since World War II. 130 people were killed when they struck the Stade de France, the Bataclan Music Hall and a string of bars and cafes across Paris. On Monday, France commemorates the second anniversary of the attacks. French President Emmanuel Macron will lead commemorations at each of the sites. In October, Mr. Macron signed a controversial security and anti-terrorism law that will take over the state of emergency that's been in place since 2015. According to the Interior Ministry, the extraordinary measures have helped intelligence agencies prevent more than 30 attacks in the last two years. Without the approval of a judge, they will now be able to set up security zones when there's a threat, restrict the movement of people and vehicles into and out of it, and have the power to carry out searches inside the area. Police will also have extended powers to search properties, conduct electronic eavesdropping and shut mosques or other locations suspected of preaching hate. French prosecutors say whilst large cells are still plotting, attacks are now more likely to come from isolated individuals using low-cost methods such as cars or knives.